We have started. Hello. Hello. Okay, this is our first interview together. I hope the audio sounds good. Um, crisp. Crisp, okay. So, maybe a little introduction, Michael. A little introduction about, about the life of Michael O'Burke? Sure. Shit. An introduction about the life of Michael O'Burke. Well, I have grew up in Hialeah Gardens. Hialeah Gardens. One of the ugliest neighborhoods in Miami-Dade County. Okay. We're all well connected. We're all here trying to hustle, trying to get out of here. But um, I sold drugs. And by drugs, I don't mean anything that kills people. I mean marijuana. Okay. They label it as a scheduled one substance, which is weird because it cures cancer. But enough about that. Um, okay. I like making music. I always freestyle in, in school. My friends never took it serious because the system got into my head. Almost made me lose like I was lost in this beautiful world. But now I'm 22 years old and I'm going to stick to my passion. And I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that I can spread this beautiful message. I'm not gonna lie. Here first. Uh huh. Go. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Okay. I got the butterflies. Oh, I'm a little nervous too. Um, I feel like this is more casual. I, I'm more used to the. We both get it. at the studio, like at the radio station. I don't really know where to look anymore. Um, These are the cozy vibes. Yeah, cozy vibes. But I want to be heard as well. So. What I wanted to ask you, music, it's your thing. So, your album, you just debuted it, right? This is like your first mixtape. What is it, a mixtape or an EP? It's a little EP I released uh -huh. on behalf of the city of Hylia Gardens. Oh my God, on behalf of the city of Hylia Gardens. Okay. Um, who influences you? What artist influences you to make this? Well, I've always been a Little Wayne fan. He's really influenced me to be creative, to really like think outside the box with his crazy, crazy shit that he says. But if you hear the, the EP, you'll really feel kind of close ties to like Tupac. Like people aren't really saying what's going on. People are making it about fun, which is music is about fun. It's about having fun, you know, spreading this these good vibes with people. But at the end of the day, celebrities aren't really like well-known artists aren't using their voices to really make this world a better place so you'll definitely feel a lot of Tupac not a lot of Tupac because I'm still developing my voice and you know the flows and the way the words get put together the wordplay but cool a lot of Tupac influence good to know I didn't know that who influenced you at all because I feel like you're such a I don't want to use the word loner but I'm gonna use the word loner very solid. I'm very solitary. Yeah, so I wouldn't really be able to identify like who you or what the fuck they're over there. Lil Wayne. All right, mm -hmm. what's good? I'm Chris Brown. That, that Carter Three. Hey. The Fame album. Honestly, that Chris Brown album was like I don't really understand the whole message, but <laughs> Fame, like your Fame changes people. Fame changes people, and I don't really, I don't really fuck with that shit, cause. I've been doing my little research on on what people do for fame and nah, I don't, you can't, you can't put a price tag on my head. So if this music shit takes me like 10 years, 15 years, 20 years for like 10,000 people to like know who I am, then that's how it's gotta be, but I'm not gonna make any deals. Okay, so you don't wanna be signed. You wanna be no. independent? You wanna start your own record label? That would be that ideal. Would be pretty cool, yeah. Do you wanna sign other artists? I would love to, okay. like, artists that are like... Do you want to make them feel safe, like they're not selling their souls? They I shouldn't think. even think about it, like, that's the type of record, record label I'm trying to have where just free thinkers that are trying to, like, really inspire the youth to think freely. Like, that's what it's all about, like, we're, we're consciously evolving, so it's... 
We gotta, yeah. we gotta let these kids know what's really happening right here. It's not just about going to the concert. That's my favorite artist. That's my favorite rapper. Oh my God, I love him so much. Nah, yo, this guy, through his music, I learned so much about myself and now I'm a better person. That's the type of vibe I'm trying to put out there. And if I could get like, you feel me? If people are want to be part of this, I would love to have people part of this. Like that's long-term goal, mid-term goal, it's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. Okay, cute. Goals. Goals. Competition. Ooh. Do you have any? Competition? The worst competition I have is myself. It's so tough. <laughs> it's so tough. I, it's literally like I stop myself. Literally like get distracted by myself. I feel that. Like, and it's like I can't even focus on anyone else because, like, like I'm being delayed by my own self first. Like, I feel like there's no really, there's, there's no enemies out there. It's, all the enemies are really in your head. I'm taking I notes because there's little things that you say that I like. Like when you said I don't really understand the message, that was really funny. Which message are you talking? The about? Chris Brown Fame album. You just looked at it. You really <laughs> Okay, um, okay, so it's cool because to me, like you're, like I said, you're such in solitude and you're not influenced by many, many things. I'm assuming you're going to kind of be a pioneer in certain things, right? So what would you, what do you think is going to be next? Like in, not necessarily in goals and music, but like, what do you think it's going to be next that's going to be popping? You know? The next thing that's popping? Yeah. Um, sure in music because that's your field definitely yeah I see the next trend um, well hopefully because I might be wrong I don't really know how society's thinking I kind of feel like I'm like, inky, like not incubated but maybe like isolated like I'm a, I'm a little island and right now I'm still part of it's like Puerto Rico I feel like Puerto Rico right now because I'm part of the US I'm uh -huh. part of the, the main group but like it's like yo like they don't really give a fuck like what I have to say or they don't give a fuck about these ideas and Okay. We can continue again. So you're in you're in your thoughts. This is good. I am I am in the most literal sense. So much learning to do. Okay. I wanna pause this, right? Yeah, just hit the uh, that one. Okay. That one. Cut on both. Okay. We're back in the mix? We're back in the mix. <laughs> okay. Um, where were we? Puerto Rico. You feel like Puerto Rico? I feel like Puerto Rico. And, yo, know, Puerto Rico just, you feel me? They just got hit with uh, hurricanes. They're not back in mint condition. It's like they're completely being avoided by the main society. So, um,. Basically, the trend that I see is uh, the people waking up, people know where they got to go, and that's back to nature. It doesn't have to be nature all the way in Africa, but you feel me? You got to find, you got to know who you are, and once people know who they are, which is, which is God. Right? And, and Who's also, God to you? God is like, God is literally, I would say, everything is the creator and the creator divided himself so that me michael can have the the joy and the happiness to uh communicate with himself via the form of jennifer okay so we are all basically reflections of each other and all the information is here it's just a matter of who you know to get your proper information so um where am I trying to take this? <laughs> I like that. That's me every day when I start a sentence. Where am I? I'm trying to do this. Literally. Um, so basically, your reflections are you. You are a reflection of me. And you might be the part of me that is very creative, very adventurous. But then there might be another reflection of me that shows me that... It's just the scared side of me, like, 
doesn't want to do much, uh, would rather just stay isolated or wants to pick up on bad habits. So the key is to stay away from those negative reflections and to really surround yourself with people who are on the same wavelength as you so okay. you can grow. No? Yes. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, I get, so. That's, so, that's kind of subjective. Subjective means, I don't really know what that means. Um, subjective means could be or could not be because mm -hmm. anyone can choose what it is. It's not a fact. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about other shit because you're fun for this. Um, reflections of each other, I'm definitely on board with that. We, we do choose to who we communicate with and most of the time it's because we're on the same plane, right? Same wavelength. Yeah. Um, yep, yep, big facts. And who you surround yourself is basically who you are. Yeah, like that quote, like, tell me who you hang out with and I'll tell you who you are. That's, yo, I got goosebumps in my fucking head. Like, yeah? That's that's real shit right there. Tell me who you hang out with and I'll tell you who you are. Yeah. All right, I have two topics I want to talk about. We can approach them differently. Hold on. I want to find the, the definition of this word. Okay, I know that you're into self-help, right? Because we have that in common. Self-help. Self-help books, self-help things, articles, coconut oil, shit that just makes you feel like you are becoming the best version of yourself. And I know that you want to become the best version of yourself, so I want to talk about that. Um, I have some notes that I'm going to read you, and I guess we can go off from that. I've been reading this book. It's written by a rich white dude. But... It's really, really awesome because I want to be the best version of myself and I just like reading about it. So, get to know your legitimate needs, your deepest desires, and your unique talents. Spend your days, weeks doing things for which you have a particularly genetic ability or a God-given gift. Two, your physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual needs are each being attended to. Three, you are full of passion for life. And that is how you become the best version of yourself. What do you think? If you, I th I agree with that. If you know your needs, your desires, yeah. you know yourself, nothing could stop you because you know you're ready when something's coming at you. When something, ne if something negative, com ne negative coming at you, you know how to handle the situation because you're not going to let that negative shit feed your, 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 your ego or nothing like that. You're going to be... Or poison you. Or poison you, exactly. Like a lot of people... A lot of people got that mental health issue. I probably have mental health issues and I don't know about it, but... I, I think mean, we all do. Exactly, so... I think we're all a little chemically imbalanced. You gotta help yourself in this in this ludicrous world. Yeah. So, if you know yourself and you study yourself, I think that... I've, I've been well, actually learning about that recently, your natal chart. Okay, so we're getting into astrology. I don't know too much about astrology. So... For the fans, because they probably want to know, what's your sign, what's your sun, your moon, and your ascending? Ah, okay, so I opened the needle chart, but I don't really do know. Do you have a screenshot much. of it? I do actually just click Safari. I'm a Libra. And my really? My son is in Libra. You're a Libra. It should be the second link to the right. Here. Oh my god, you're funny. I was reading it. So if you basically know yourself, you're ready to handle anything that the universe is gonna throw at you, all the good shit, all the bad shit, and you can only, you can only keep growing and keep getting better. His sun is in Libra. His moon is in Virgo. His Mercury is in Libra. Mercury is like your communication. Your Venus is in Libra. You're full blown. Li you're very very Libra, which is cool because Eddie is really really Scorpio, which is really odd. People are always a little bit of Scorpio, but I'm pretty sure Eddie is like all three. I do want to study all these astrology a little bit more deeper because it's okay, just it's starting to make house. sense to me. We're born the same year. 
95 babies. 95 babies. So you're about to turn 23 on September 23. I'm about to be a big boy. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Honestly, I, at first I was kind of like worried, like 23, yo, what am I doing? But I'm at a, I'm at, I'm at a peace of mind where I'm 23 and I'm like, wow, like everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. Like right now I have everything I'm supposed to have. Mm -hmm. I know the information that I'm supposed to know. If I die anytime soon, that that's, you feel me? It's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Everything, I have, like, my my mindset is everything happens for a reason. Everything is written. So if you do try to change your course okay. by doing something, you're either going to get put right in place by getting a big lesson that's going to put you right back on course, uh, or you're just going to, like, jump off a cliff because the, the role that you... You decided to take it just gonna throw you off yeah so me, right now i'm in a place where like i don't see myself going off course and leading to my destruction so like i feel like i'm i'm on the god road i feel the same way i don't feel like i'm on the road to destruction i usually do i think this is the first birthday in a really long time since i was 18 that i felt like i was on the right track i wasn't letting anyone's bullshit like I, I this goes back to like letting yourself distract yourself letting people emotions become your priority instead of taking care of yourself this is the first year that I did that I didn't let anyone fuck, with you. fuck my birthday up no matter what it's my birthday I don't even remember what I did oh I went to Las Rosas my favorite bar Ooh. yeah and all my friends went and it's like 8 or 10 of them my birthday was April. May 18th I'm a Taurus and my son, my son is Taurus, and my moon is Capricorn, and my ascending sign is a Gemini, and that's why I talk a lot. Yeah. And my Venus is in Taurus. Um, but yes. The so, first year. no one, no one fucked with you. No, your actually, no. People tried to fuck with me. They Absolutely. Tried to, but this was mm -hmm. the first year that you were ready to like. Yeah, I was like not doing this. Mm -hmm. Not them fuck. So like, the very last moment of my birthday. I, which I, I'm, I'm saying like even after midnight and we spent the whole night at the bar and my birth, we ended things at like eight in the morning and until that very last moment, someone tried to fuck with me and I was like, no, not doing it. Bye Felicia. Bye, fuck that, <laughs> fuck that. And you know, I made the change from like journalism to broadcast media, which is kind of the same thing, but I want to broadcast and shit. So I feel like I'm on the right path. I've been doing so much shit. Yeah. You've been like shifted just a little bit. It's like I'm flourishing and I'm flourishing really fast. And I kind of want to document all of it. That's why I'm like, I want to interview all my friends right now. So we can keep this. This right here is a, oh, it's a pivot. Like this right here, this time that we're in right here, like it's literally like right when the, the seed is you being know, planted. When, it's being planted. But you know, like right before you plant a seed, like it has like this little thing coming out, like like it's kind of sprouting, but not yet. Exactly, but okay. it's like a tiny little sprout on the seed, and like these days, we're probably gonna probably won't forget it. But like, we it, might. It's, it's it'd be really cool to record and keep this like for future reference. Like, damn, I remember those times. Right, because if we don't follow our dreams, you know, which I hope we do, and if we don't for whatever reason, we'll always be able to go back to this and remember who we were and like that's always going to be cute like the way you look at baby photos right now i mean you have them posted on your on your wand because you love to be reminded of who you used to be you can't necessarily remember that was you and your thoughts because you were little and we're gonna, oh, we're gonna feel the same way looking back at it you're gonna be like like wow like i remember the dreams and i remember that desire i had just to uh create to create and beautiful. do things and i hope that we always have the desire to create you know and i don't i don't feel like i create enough but i'm giving myself credit for the things that i'm doing now because i'm not gonna bully myself the world does that enough right i learned that this year not this uh, exactly this year maybe it's i'm taking this lesson into action like the world is already a really fucked up place and i'm not going to let people with their emotions come and like bully me because that's just not i get to choose that mm -hmm. you get to choose that like you allow it's whatever you allow next topic that is so that comes with allowing things free will 
do you think we have free will, which is um, acting on your own discretion? Like, do you think we really have free will, or we do compared to a lot of people, for example, that live in specific countries that don't have the politics that we do, but we do live in a society where we're kind of brainwashed, kind of like on a Kanye West level, kind like, of. you know. Um, we have free will. Only thing about our free will is that since, since as long as we can remember, we've been kind of, uh, you know, brainwashed, like you said, we've been brainwashed and not in the like literal sense because there's no one going up to us and like brainwashing us but from the tv like media media that's the crazy media, mainstream media especially mainstream media and a lot of artists like they gain the popularity mainstream media notices them and they make a little deal and that's it they go there goes all the creative rights so i want to make sure that i keep all my creative rights and make sure that what i say gets out the way i wanted to say it because we all have free will it's true but the deals that you make it's not about those deals yes i believe that for the most part you get to choose your battles now that we're grown you know so i feel that on deals make smart deals mm -hmm. who you fuck with what you want to do don't put yourself in shitty situations that you could avoid. Because we know better than that. We all know better than that. Whether you're like 23 or 20 or 17. I think that we're as a society, we kind of know better. I hope that we do. But the only thing that's really interfering with the free will is currency, capital, Ooh. money bags. People will give up their free will for some money. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like a million, that's not enough. Maybe two million, that's not enough. Three million. Like when you think about it, it's not though. It's not enough. It's not. It is, but it's it's not. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's not. But it's not enough. It's not on the grand scale of things, and depending on what you want to do with your life, which is a good question. What do you want to do with your life? Mm. <laughs> 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 what do I want to do in my life? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna answer that question, but. I don't really think it's my life. But what I'm going to do with the ability of this life uh -huh. is... Honestly, I want to just... I want to... I want to build a family. And not like wife and kids. I'm talking about like... A community. A community. Okay. That we're all like in the same thinking pattern. Where we all know what's actually happening. And we're not going to feed into that. We're actually going to feed into the rebuilding process, like... Healing. Healing. That's what... Okay. That's, so where we've been missing this whole time. <laughs> and it's part of the... It's part of healthy mom. Like, you can't spell healthy without heal. We didn't even talk about healthy mom. That's your brand. It's just like my life. It's not my brand. It's just the brand that I choose to give energy to 